Hi everyone, my name is Emily and welcome to NCSE's YouTube channel. So for this particular video, I will be discussing our newest June activity titled Geology Park. So this Geology Park activity has two main goals. Now the first is to expose participants to geologic time or deep time. And the second goal of this activity is to um, expose participants to the changes in climate and the environment and the evolution of organisms in response to the passing of deep time. So the target audience for this activity includes a variety of ages. You can have eight and unders, young kids participate, you can have mixed families participate in this activity. And what's also very special about Geology Park is that this is also designed to engage high school students and adults. So the premise of Geology Park is the following. So you are going to lead a group of tourists through space and geologic time, and you will be taking your participants to witness the Permian extinction, which is the largest extinction event the world has ever witnessed, excluding modern day. And so with your arrival in the Permian period, something goes wrong and there is a wrinkle in time, and you displace all of the organisms that are found within the Permian period to a variety of different geologic time periods. And so it is the participants' responsibility to solve puzzles and clues in order to figure out where the organisms have landed in geologic time, bring them back to the Permian period in order to prevent all of these drastic changes from becoming permanent. So there are a number of things that come in your geology park kit. The first is your geology park narration and your clues. This is a hard copy of all the documentation that you will need just in case that participants or volunteers don't have access to a smartphone or the app. You also have a set of cones and each cone is color coded by geologic time and the date. There are two per geologic time period in order to demarcate where it is in geologic time. You also have a set of um, measurement stations. You have five plant grids that come in each kit. You will have five air quality sampling devices. You will have five thermometers. You will also have five maps that show the um, activity of plate tectonics and position of continents for the time. And you will also have four altimeters which will show you altitude of um, a given area within a geologic time period. In addition to all of those measurement stations, you also have a stack of organism cards for each geologic time period, and you also have a couple of handouts that are helpful for participants and for volunteers. So this is our mini cheat sheet version of when and where the geologic time periods are located. And then we also have this little cheat sheet which will list the clue number and the answers. This is essentially the answer key for all of the right um, organisms and the appropriate clues that are associated with each. This should not be given out to participants. This is for volunteers only. You can slip this in your pocket and refer back to it as the activity progresses. So in addition to all of the documentation that you see here, you will also need to download the app, which is called NCSE Geology Park. It is available on the App Store for Apple and Android smartphones, and it is free of charge to download. So within Geology Park, you will find that there are a number of measurement stations as part of the activity. And so you will see a sign that demarcates a measurement station and within this station there are at least two interactive elements and so the first i would like to talk about is air sampling so these are our air sampling containers they are labeled by time period and you will be um, investigating the both oxygen and carbon dioxide levels for each time period and so the way to take your sample is the following so you will open your container you will close it you will make sure that your app is open and that you navigate to the measurements tab. You can click on that and you can place your phone on a flat surface. And then what you do is you will place your sample where it says place sample here and you will press the button that um, is labeled with the same geologic time period on your sample. So this one, for example, is Cretaceous. So I wanna know what the reading is for the Cretaceous period. 
So I will click that button and the app will think. And then once it's done, it will read out to you what the oxygen concentration is and what the carbon dioxide levels are as well. So the second measurement station within Geology Park that you might see is the following. So in each kit, you have a set of five thermometers, um, one for each separate geologic time period. Now these are labeled nicely and they have already been set to the appropriate average global temperature, both in Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. Um, but just a reminder, we have them taped on the back so that they cannot be adjusted by um, naughty participants. So you wanna make sure that these stay as accurate as possible. So the third measurement station that you will receive is you will receive five maps of the position of the continents of each uh, geologic time period. And so things to note within these maps are um, relative position of continents in between geologic time periods and also the presence of um, plate tectonic activity. So the fourth measurement station that you may come across in Geology Park are these plant grids. Now the plant grids will demonstrate the evolution and colonization of plants on land. So you have a grid that first demonstrates cyanobacteria, green blue algae. The next you have a set of all ferns on a grid and then you have your next grid which shows the colonization of gymnosperms, which are cone-bearing plants, will replace uh, ferns, which were once dominant. And then you have the emergence and dominance of angiosperms, which are flowering plants, plants, which are represented by these fake flowers on the grid as well. So with this particular measurement station, the goal is to have the participant um, investigate and study the relative ratios of all the different plant species within each geologic time period. So the fifth and final measurement station within Geology Park is the altimeter readings. And this is a measurement station that has the participants measure altitude or the highest point within a given geologic period. Now there are four altimeter readings that come within your kit, not five, unlike the other plant measurement stations. Now, the way to read an altimeter is the following. So if you look at my diagram here, you have three arms, and it's, it's similar to reading the arms on a clock. So your first arm you wanna look at is the short arm, which is white, and that will read um, in increments of 10,000 feet. Next, you have the medium length arm, and that is this arm which is all black and that one is um, 1,000 feet increments and then you have your tiny skinny arm which is down here and that will read in increments of 100 feet and then for the last final increments in feet you have this tiny little window which will give you a numerical number now in case you need a reminder on any of that we also have directions on how to read an altimeter for volunteers and participants and this particular placard should be placed within the Permian period with its respective card. And then we also have a laminated answer key with all the correct geologic time periods and answers as well. So one final note about Geology Park, it is in everyone's best interest to have this activity be an independent learning activity for the participants. Uh, we definitely want to avoid lecturing um, the guests that come in and do this activity. If you have done a very successful job of setting them up and guiding them through the beginning stages of this activity, um, they won't need your help. You can be there to support or give hints or clues or of course help anyone that gets stuck but ultimately we want this to be a independent learning activity rather than a lecture based activity. So here we have an example of how you could set up each geologic time period. For our purposes we have decided to choose the Jurassic so we're going to go ahead and set that up in this particular room.
Perfect. Got awesome. it. Awesome. Boom. Nice. Perfect.